hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel you're welcome to victor fashion of video to your recently how are you all doing hope you're fine you're welcome to my youtube channel and today we're gonna make on the new subscriber you're welcome to the family i love you guys so much i'm super super excited you're welcome and we told the subscriber you know i love you guys i don't need to say it because you already know thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video i really really appreciate you thank you so much guys and also guys you asked me to open a whatsapp group for us to be talking and for you to tell me the tutorial you want to see next and there's only one person that joined the group why please i'm going to link the group down below and you must subscribe just click on it and it will take you to the group thank you so much for watching and thank you so on today's tutorial and if you're watching this you have not subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for make sure you subscribe and turn on notification button to see more of my video when i upload it yeah so on today's tutorial we're going to be making this gown that has this thing and so the gown will be on this tutorial if that is what you want to learn stay tuned thank you see you guys soon So guys, I know, I know, I'm super, super sorry guys, I'm deeply, deeply sorry. The reason why I'm doing this tutorial, I was supposed to do this, but the reason why I'm doing this one is because <sighs> my client wants to collect this. So trust me, next week Monday, we'll be on this tutorial, no cap. No, even any tutorial and there's another issue i would have done this before this but my phone i have only one phone and the phone is always full so this is what i do i delete when i make video i upload it delete it to be able to do another video so i couldn't i, I can't do two tutorial at once so that is why but trust me next week monday you will see this tutorial this I'm super super sorry 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 you will see it trust me that's what I want to call my big I'm big sorry guys I'm super super sorry I know I know but trust me you will see it next week thank you thanks for understanding please make sure you watch this one and like and comment and share to more people thank you love you guys let's just get right to today's tutorial actually we need brown paper for this tutorial and we only we are going to call the back only trust me this marker is a new marker like i bought it new because of this tutorial so i now open it down i didn't know so right now it was not even work out to force it but i later changed it to pen this tutorial is very easy to make so right now i draw the straight line to get my starting line then after that you are going to dress your shoulder to your nipple yeah to your nipple point to your nipple point then to your waist to your where your half length then one inches for allowance that is just all the tutorial we need for this dress please guys make sure you watch carefully if you have any question comment down below thank you so after that as you can see i'm struggling with this new marker and it's new but i have to change it to this pen but i hope you are going to see this tutorial very very easy very very demure very classy <laughs> so you guys so right now what we are going to do next is start our vertical measurements like all the measurements we need for this tutorial so the neckline i'm going to be using for this tutorial is three inches by one for the back then divide your shoulder by two that for me is eight inches then i'm chalk it out then for the down like i said three by one for the back so i went down by one inches for shoulder slope after that then i draw a straight line just the way you are seeing it i even try using the marker you gave me to work i jiggy 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 it it still did not work the marker 200 naira i've gone can you imagine in this economy ha very demure <laughs> 
so i have to draw the like you can use your coffee ruler or just use the hand method i use so after that we're going to be getting our chest line measurement you divide your bust by six plus 1.5 that is how i get my ammo then you chuck it out and draw this is this ammo line will be our chest line measurement just the way you are seeing it right here then i draw the straight line just make sure you are following what i'm doing and you will get it if you have any question just make sure you ask me so after that you divide your boss by four and divide your ammo by two so for this tutorial i'm going to be explaining some things then you divide it by two just the way you are seeing me do so if you want your your you know this does not have sleeve if you want it to go in like you want the shoulder part to be small you can actually go in by two inches half inches one inches two inches any inches you want then you now cross it and meet wherever you want your arm but me my client says she don't want the ammo. She was even thinking she it will have sleeve, but I say no, it will not. I don't. So anyhow, you want your own uh, sleeve to your own ammo to wish you can let you can do that. So after that, you put your um, sewing allowance. Then for my sewing allowance, I use one and a half. Then you divide your waist by four. Divide your waist by four had one inches or two inches for the darts if you want to use for me i had one inches then sewing allowance so this man this thing that we are cutting is what we are going to cut this back is what we are going to use to cut out the front and it's what i'm going to use to cut out the back so what i want to do is get the um that measurement divide nipples to nipples by four by two sorry then you get the meat but for me it's four inches then because the back the front is not going to have that so after that you place your half half inch it's only the back i want it to have that that is why i'm doing this but for the front it's not going to have that so the that measurement i put on the waist when i cut the back finish i'm going to cut it out so as you can see i'm chucking out the one inches of the dart like this then i will draw it straight down to the hip when i'm done cutting out the back i'm going to be cutting out this botch one inches for the dart for the front i hope you understand what i'm trying to say this is the all the tutorial so after that you cut everything out so I'm, i want to cut out the back remember the back is gonna have zip so i first of all cut out a uh, chalk out the six two inches for the zip of the back before placing the brown paper i use my pin to hold it now so it will not be shifting because the dress is a bit shifting like it's a bit rolling it's a bit demure classy so after cutting that i notch out the <laughs> zip part what am i saying the wheel the wheel ah just god i beg go i beg go <laughs> so you check out the zip part and take out the neckline so for body i'm putting the color so you go in by half inches like to make your zip sit well in your back you go in by half inches and draw this so after that you remove so the day so let's go right to the tutorial for the front so like i told you guys i'm going to remove the one inches of the dart for the front so for this front you can actually use your boss point and draw it but me i'm going to be going up by one inches in shoulder line you can actually use your chest line and and cut it out but for me i went up by one inches from that chest line then I draw a straight line, go to the arm straight, like you can see. So I draw a straight line. Then after that, I'm going to be using scissors to cut this out. Yes, 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 so, yes, so, so, so. So this is it. You are not going to cut it finished because we need the ammo. So you fold, make sure your fabric is on fold for the front and also the back is on fold as you can see so you now place the fab the paper 
on top so how much you want your dress to fall down the more it fall the more your breast will show if you want normal this thing you can just go up by six inches or seven inches if you want it more your breast should show you can go down by you can go up by 10 inches 11 depends on how the more you are opening the this thing the more your breast will show like you can see so check out what i'm just doing and you're going to get this tutorial very very easy and easy to the meal easy to wear is it to do anything as you can see we are not going to be play, cutting out the arm um, with the neckline for the front we are just going to be going straight just the way you are seeing it just the way you are seeing me cutting then after cutting you make sure you where the arm started where the neck and uh, the sleeve the arm that you chalk it out and uh, you notch it out because it's going to you are going to need it later so because the front we need we are going to be using fabric for the lining of the front part that is what i'm cutting right now so let's go right to the down part of the dress we are going to be cutting the back part first like you know i have a lot of tutorial on how to cut a pencil skirt pencil this thing so you can just check it out but i i will still do this, this tutorial on this the first thing you did is measure your length so from your waist to your hip and from your waist to your knee and from your waist to your length minus your half length then that is your down part yeah so after that you're going to uh, chalk out the zip part for the back part as you can see me doing this part i used two inches you can use one and a half inches you can even use one inches depends on any one you want then you draw a straight line after that divide your hip by divide your waist by four and add one in one and a half inches to the allowance and make sure you have add one inches because this is the back one inch you see i later add one inches of that so divide your hip by four and add one and a half inches allowance so from that place you can room for the new line you can remove one and a half inches from the hip just to give us a nice shape from there then you draw a straight ruler from that down to the down part of the dress so after that you cut it out and make sure you d remove the budge zip part the half inches of the budge e uh, zip part please make sure you remove it to give it a nice shape for your zip in the back so after that you place the back part remove the zip part to cut out the front just the way you usually use to cut out your pencil skirt just place it place the back part and cut out your back and cut out your front just the way i did it after that this is the lining i'm going to be using for the down part and also for the back so i use paper stay for the upper part it has on the lining it has on the fabric i just wanted it to give me a structure i'm done cutting out the lining the paper stay and i'm done ironing everything on this if your client pay wet you can actually use a stay so let's get right to the to the sewing tutorial so after that you play this is the down part you place your lining and the right side facing each other sew it and use your lining to turn it in you are going to do so this is the front part you place right side facing each other lining to lining then you see that place we notch that's where you are going to start the sewing and stop where we also notch before sewing the arm row, sewing the down the side, then we are going to use it to turn out the so we are going to do the same thing to the front, this is the back part. But this one you sew the neckline top stitch, sew it, sew the sides, sew the neck and the arm row, and also sew the side. We are going to go and do all that. So I'm done. This is the back part, and I've already do the that. So this is the down part too. I've already done everything. So for the front part, you are going to notch everywhere. I made a mistake of uh, stop stitching the upper part of the of the front part. Don't do that, please. Don't stop stitch the upper part of the of the front. So I've, make sure you notch everything and give it a good press. As you can see, I stop stitches. No, don't do that. 
so after that i'm done so we are i'm going to be teaching you guys how you are going to use your front and your back to turn for knit so you not be showing your shoulder this thing so you place your you turn your front part into the left side then you now you don't need to turn your uh, your back you just place it inside just the way you see me do you place it inside you see um, I'm checking where do the right side facing each other like it has to be right side facing each other you see you are not going to turn your uh, your fab your back but you turn your front you now put it inside you sew it make sure you know how you turn it so it will not turn come out the way you don't want make sure you turn it well just we really are seeing it so i'm already done i've done turning it then you see the outcome now it give us a neat job no join like it give us a neat job in the in the right side and also in the left side you see that is how you see the ruffle giving us already before we even finish so after that i give it so we are going to place the down part and the front and the upper parts together so to the to the back you are going to take the back part measurement join it join it like this then the other side of the back you place you take the second side of the back join it like this then for the front you take the front part too then right side facing each other join it like that so after that i join it and i weaved it to give us a neat job so we are going to focus on the back for now because we have not put our zip part so we are going to bring out the zip to put the zip in the back so you you measure your zip part where you want your zip to reach just the way you are seeing it where you want your zip to reach then you sew down don't forget the back is going to be open so you are going to measure where you want your back to be so i'm done with the zip look at the neat job i make sure that the joining is the same side everything so after that we are going to take our measurement but for the slits in the back we are going to use emmy gum to gum it for a neat job like to just give us a neat job you can use thread if you don't have any emmy gum you can use thread thread to tack it but i prefer emmy gum for a neat job so after that you sew your measurements the waist the hip and sew it down on the both side and that is all we are done with this tutorial if you have any question make sure you comment thank you so much for watching and i could not put it on mannequin so sorry but it was really nice thank you for watching see you guys on my next video bye love you make sure you subscribe hi guys how did the tutorial reward just help if not if you like it make sure you press the like button if you don't like it make sure you press the down button and make sure you comment reason why you don't like it yeah it's okay so you comment why reason why you don't like the video thank you so much for watching and thanks for always coming back and thanks for subscribing love you guys see you stay tuned on my channel because we all we usually used to upload every monday i pray to god god give you us more strength so we're uploading twice in a week so thank you guys for watching see you guys next week stay tuned love you don't move don't move don't move don't move stand up Stand up, stand up.